Brother. Russ. Ten days in, we've made it this far. Well, she's made it this far. <laughs> Are you enjoying my company? Oh, I'm loving your company, Andy. Um, but not yet. Ten days have gone by so quick, and any holidays? Just about to get halfway. Uh, I think it's just the travel, traveling to all these different cities, seeing the people, seeing the cultures. It's been amazing so far. Yeah. What about you? Any holidays? Nah, the rugby, the people, all the different countries coming together. I reckon that's the holiday for me. Yeah. And that boat tour. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> I've been a bit involved in how this came about, but um, you know, getting the, um, I guess, people engaged and, and what the All Blacks do just to get that little insight, but without, you know. Yep, yeah. yep, give a wee sneak in. Yeah, yeah, no, and we're not being too silly in that either. Yeah, yeah, It's the beautiful city of a Leon. Who are you talking to? Andy, to the GoPro. <laughs> Andy Ellis is uh, taking us through his uh, Leon city. Played here in 2007 against Romania. Portugal. Oh, Portugal. Yeah. Leon is built around two, two main rivers. You have Rone and Son. <laughs> it's known as the food capital of France. Known for its uh, gastronomy. Gastronomy? Mm-hmm. It's outstanding, mate. I'll find a plastic bottle and put it on my back tyre. He's chatting away back there. I do not know what he's saying. Sound like a motorbike. <laughs> My first time in a press conference. As a player, I've never sat at the top table, and um, yeah, it's, it's quite intimidating. I'm a journalist too. You're going to go have to ask a question to Ian Foster. <laughs> now, our goal is to make sure we don't burden them with too much pressure on, on what's going to happen. Hey, Fozzie, uh, George here from the Front Row Daily Show. George, who, sir? <laughs> George Bell. Uh, right. George Bell. Um, how important our front row is heading into this this week? Uh, really important. You know, they're the most annoying people in the team, the front rowers. They eat the most food. They, um, they, uh, they take the longest to warm up and come out of the chair before they train, but they're special people. Have you talked to the, the group about your experience playing the Olympics? Just probably just some mates of mine, you know. It's like probably something that I haven't shared with a lot of people. I can remember in 2019, well, half time score was 79. And obviously, I was very fortunate to score nine points, kicking to poles, and then just walk into the changing room, went into the toilet, and just cried. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, bro, you're, like, you're from Namibia, you're playing against the All Blacks, score 79, you just scored three, nine points against the All Blacks. It's like, oh, it's like pretty emotional, you know? So yeah, it's just like it's just special, especially when you get to play against them. Oh, that's so cool here. Yeah. I, think, well, I think New Zealanders will love hearing that. Andy's been uh, complaining to me all of last week and this week, saying that you owe him a bit of wine. What's uh, what's the story around that, bro? Nice, mate. What is the story around that? Yeah. yeah. We well, just roughing the band-aid off the Super Rugby final. Right? Oh, <laughs> we had a bit with the Chiefs versus the Crusaders, and I do owe him a box, but I'm just not over it, so I'm not paying up here. <laughs> Found some Namibians. Come, come. Namibi, Namibi. You know, Namibia has sheep too. That is a game-changing fact. I didn't know about that. Are you a writer of some kind? Are you a poet? Do you look like? Yeah. How do you know that? <laughs> I, I do ham. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I got a wiki. <laughs> you got the wiki. You <laughs> yeah. got on the wiki. I, I got a wiki, but yeah. No, I got yeah, a wiki. You're a big deal. You're a big deal. <laughs> so glad to meet you. Jerome Powell. <laughs> Remember him? He's got a wiki. Oh ho ho. I can't do a design. Good. That's nice, brass. <laughs> I, I back myself, actually. I love a good flat white. Here are. What have we got? Oat milk. Oat milk. Cappuccino. They had the whole frothing and the whole swirling and things like that. So I got this beautiful La Mazzocca machine. Jeez. Got the, the all press New Zealand coffee beans uh, sent over from yep. London and I just would spend every morning perfecting uh, my flat white. So I had a lot of confidence. And then I went into the kitchen yep. and I was no good. I got shunted ah. to the side. <laughs> and then after about 10 minutes, I was like the waiter, like giving them because... Um, you had two, right? Uh, yes. One more. Oh, yeah. One more, yeah. No. So I have to go home and, and review that, analyze what went wrong, and come back even better next time. Uh, testing, testing on the mic. Jordan told four, one, two, three. Got a few of the boys uh, having some lunch. Let's go ask them a few questions. I'm ask trying to get peace, mate. I know, mate. I know. How are you finding Montpellier? Tell us, uh, tell us your thoughts of uh, the first week. Uh, it's been great. You've been very gracious in uh, receiving us, and um, yeah, it's pretty similar to Samoa. You know, the beaches are here, the weather's nice and hot. So um, <laughs> yeah, same, same feeling at home. Oh, we got one more. Found another one. The big man himself. Hi, everyone. What do you love about France? 
Ah, uh, food. I think I can tell you really do love the food. What about 130 kgs, mate? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think that's enough now. Oh, uh, that on my boys. So, as a coach, you know, you've had the opportunity to work with some, some of the greatest players of all time. But what would you have said to yourself as a player? If you're, you're the coach and you get young Steve Hansen in the centres, how, what, what was your advice to yourself? Uh, what would it be? Because I didn't, it be I didn't give too much advice to myself when I was younger. Um, I, I, look, I think the biggest thing that trips up young players is they worry too much about selection. And they can't control that. You don't control select the selectors pick the team. All you can control is your preparation and your performance. So if you're thinking about, oh, you know, I'm not getting selected and, well, I want to be selected, want to be selected, want to be, you're distracted. You're not actually putting in the effort that you need to to make yourself a better player. Ah, I hit the boo. Turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. Yeah, yeah stop the engine. Just, just you're going into all that weed there, which ain't going to help us. Oh, <laughs> OK, which way are we going? Oh, mate, actually, you're going to have to go forward quite quickly now. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Quickly, start it. OK, 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 start check. It. We're good, we're good. Go, 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 start it. Start it. It's on. On. Go, forward, go forward. Quickly, Why quickly. Is no, no, stop, stop, stop. We're in the weed again. Oh. Yeah, where's the radio? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, we're very sorry. We cannot uh, yeah, yeah. Right Oh, yeah. Hey, it was quite a reunion. What size is this guy? <laughs> How I've missed Big Ben's booming laugh. <laughs> but we needed to address a weighty subject. There might be a heavier prop than him at the World Cup. You've heard about uh, Tamaiti Williams, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the uh, big tall boy, yeah, big moldy boy, yeah. I don't know what he's clicking in there, though. Uh, 139 apparently. Oh, I was 139 when I was 20, mate. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How heavy are you these days? Uh, 145, 71, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, it's was that before, before lunch or after lunch? Lunch or no lunch, Ben Tamefuna remains undefeated. Big boy, fire up. Still lightweight though. Nah, <laughs> I call him out. <laughs> 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 call him out. Yeah. Go, 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 you go. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Woo. <laughs> bros, you're not even sweating, bros. Still oh, got mate. it. I'm sweating Still fit. hard. That I weekend. just got up. He was already waiting for me. Oh my goodness. Yep. Um, how good was it when um, we biked through those people? Uh, that was pretty cool. Just them cheering, ale, ale, ale. And I had my towel out, yes! Finish line. Even though we're halfway. <laughs> <laughs> you've got productions coming up, you've got all these different personalities coming in. You know, how do you get into that performance mode yourself? Mm, without, it's going to sound arrogant, but like um, from a very early age, I realised that you um, you can't really rely on anyone else. Um, you know, to uh, to help you out. Like you can ask for favours and things, but. At the end of the day, it's uh, everything's on you. And if I'm going to represent my art or you know film or something, I can't. I can't go into it blaming. Yeah, you know, like with the expectation that like, you know, I can blame someone else if it if it goes wrong. So I uh, I prepare myself just believing that the things I like, there's definitely someone else out there who has the same sensibility and likes the stuff I like. Um, you know, I, my instincts have got me. Um, uh, quite a, quite far, um, you know. Trust the gut. Trust my gut, and just know that you know it's my gut and uh, and my instincts have, um, yeah, have served me really well in the past, and just to keep doing that. And if and if I'm wrong, and if you know, and if and if I screw it up, then the only person I, you know, need to to blame is myself. And even now, I'm like, at this at this point, I don't really care. I don't care about failure anymore. So yeah, I, I just. What's your best friend, right? When you learn yeah, from it, yeah, I, I, really, like, like, I really enjoy it, yeah. and um, also I just hate work. I just want to retire. Beautiful. I've never worked, so don't talk to me about that. Um. Does that mean 
Halloween. It's a hot dog with duck in it. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's not bad. be mean to Paris or anything, but this fan zone is so much better. The live music is phenomenal and the atmosphere. And then today we met a couple of All Blacks and guess what they were doing? What? Vintage shopping. <laughs> the scarves! Oh, the scarves, <laughs> they're big down here. You've absolutely got to be wearing a scarf. Yeah, yeah, they're all the rage. You can tie them, you can... Wear them. You can do so much with them. You can do so them. much with them, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought we were done at the top of that bike. <laughs> yeah, to me it looks like an igneous rock, yeah. which is pretty much a volcanic rock. Um, yeah. Yeah, formed under immense amounts of pressure. That's how igneous is formed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Here it is. It was worth it. Man, hot tea. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they sell t-shirts up here. Definitely worth it. Yeah, I hope, hope they do, bro, because... Yeah, the stand of this one is no good. Welcome to The Daily Show. I'm Andy Ellis. This is Alma... Smith. 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 This is Alma yep. Smith. Same as always. George! George, where are you? Can yeah. we try one without acting? <laughs> Welcome to The Daily Show. I'm Andy Ellis. This is Alma no, Schmidt. We just need to say hello. <laughs> Welcome to The Daily Show. Alma Smith. I'm Andy Ellis. Always George Bauer. That's is that not our take? You we rolling then? Yeah. Done. We've got it. No, I'm We've not gonna it. do your work for you. We're... Here we go. I only know how to act. It's yeah. literally one sentence. Andy Ellis, Elmer Smith, George Bauer. Welcome to the Daily Show. It's the front row daily show.